Yo, Navatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video infamous coming at you from the West Coast yet again, San Jose. I wanted to just bring up this uh, post in the Facebook group, something that I've been talking about in my videos. I have a playlist full of uh, dealership tips and, you know, stuff to kind of avoid and not to get screwed over. So let's look at this post, as you guys can see. Now, this is a 2020 model. And I'm guessing it's been, what, maybe two years since this person has purchased the bike. And if you guys just read it right here, <laughs> he still owes $24,000 on this bike. Can you just imagine? Now, I don't know the full details of this post. I tried uh, looking at the comments, seeing, I was trying to ask my own questions like, bruh, <laughs> how do you still have 24 k on a loan on a bike that's probably worth 16,000 bucks. I mean, this is just one of those deals. And you know what? I'm, I'm not here to kind of make fun of this guy or anything like that. Look, I made my own bad deal. I've had a deal worse than this. Uh, back when I was a teenager, I, I, I got a used car and it was probably the worst deal you can imagine. And I haven't shared that, that video with you guys, but I will eventually once I get around to it. But um yes i mean just look at my videos guys on the tips when you're financing these bikes do not add anything on the loan don't add gear don't add helmets don't add uh, modifications parts screaming eagle um who knows i mean this could be someone that had traded in for the lowrider s or maybe something along the lines like he had another bike he still had payments on that loan and when you trade in sometimes they don't give you what what you still owe or what you still have on your on your loan so that that amount carries over to the next bike so i just don't know what happened with this with this deal but it's obvious a, a very bad one and this guy's trying to get off of it he's trying to see if someone's willing to <laughs> someone's willing to take over the payments but obviously i mean i don't think there's anybody dumb enough to take this this deal and yes it's got a few modifications but all these parts don't make that don't make this bike worth 24k period but who knows the market uh you know just numbers chip shortages stuff like that who knows that there might be someone out there that's willing to take this bike for for that amount for 24k and not to mention there's also the interest who knows what type of deal he got who knows like i said i couldn't get the uh the full uh, details as you can see there's there was 13 comments and this this post was taken down by the uh by by this fella right here of course because i'm pretty sure he was getting roasted i mean like i said there's there's some guys on the facebook group there there there's some there's some clowns and there's some there's some jesters i mean yes they're funny a lot of people like uh um just posting like hysterical comments and everybody and you know what i i get it it's all good times but when you see something like this i i, I kind of hold back a little bit because i know this guy probably knows he got one of the worst deals so far. But, I mean, if we look at the bike, of course, it's got a two-up seat. Uh, it's got some Viking saddlebags. And he also has, I can't really see it. All right, sorry. It's a Bassani 2 into one And he's got the 10-inch uh, the Krause kickback risers. And he also has some grips on the bike. And I believe that's about it. He doesn't have much... And by the look of it, it looks like he still has uh, the regular push rod. So I'm guessing it's a stage one. Well, not completely stage one because he still has a stock air filter, air breather. And it looks like he might have some passenger foot pegs, of course, because he has a two-up seat. So, I mean, there isn't a lot on here. And he has a passenger backrest. So there's not a lot of modifications on, on this bike. You guys let me know in the comments how much how much would you guys pay for this bike. I could tell you risers alone, 500 bucks. The Bassani pipe, that could be about 900, 1,000 uh, bucks. The seat, probably 400, 500 bucks. And uh, I mean, the saddlebags, I guess I, this really depends on the person or the seat and the saddlebags really depends on, on the person who's probably looking at that. And I think that's going to be basically what makes this bike worth that uh, 24,000. But honestly, if we're looking at the new 2022s, and Harley announces those um, as around that price range, 24000 with Sport Glide saddlebags and the fairing. Obviously, I mean, that the, the value of this of this 2020 is only going to drop so much more because of the 22 announcement. And we're getting that bike on the 26th. 
So the new models are around the corner and that would only devalue this bike a, a little bit more. So instead of it being worth 16, maybe now it's worth 15, 14,000 because it's got the 114 and people out there, they want the 117. But anyways, enough rambling. Just wanted to kind of make this video, let you guys know that I have a playlist of, of uh, dealership tips and tips to kind of not get your your butt chewed out by these uh by these dealerships so 24k obviously you guys let me know in the comments are you guys willing to take over this this uh this loan or this bike are you willing to put up twenty four thousand dollars that's left on a 2020 potentially two years two year old harley davidson no 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 Anyways, I want to mention just one more thing, something that you would probably hear from the sales guy. You know what? Don't worry about the APR. Don't worry about the interest. You could refinance down the road. And a bike like this, $24,000, you take this to a credit union, most of the time they will not finance these bikes or they won't refinance this bike because there's only a certain amount that they're willing to go over the, uh, the NADA guide or the NADA pricing, what it's valued. So if this bike's valued at $15,000, they're not going to refinance this bike at $24,000. It's not going to happen, guys. All right. So if you hear this from a sales guy, be careful. Not every credit union is willing to put up the difference. What, how, how much is this? Uh, if it's worth 16, what, what is that? 8,000, 4,000. Yeah. 8,000 bucks. You think a credit union's willing to take a risk on the loan that's eight thousand dollars over or under if it's if you're under on the loan eight thousand dollars you think a credit union is willing to take that risk on a used bike yeah that's not possible that's not going to happen because i really i have another video on used bikes and the reason why the interest is higher on used bikes is just the risk is a lot greater because it's used it's got wear and tear it might break down and there's a chance if the bike for some reason has a major issue uh that that person that's that has the the loan is not willing to finish out his payments if he can't get his bike fixed or if it doesn't work or for some reason it's just not rideable for some reason of course it's not going to sit well for anybody to be making you know that kind of a payment which is pretty high twenty four thousand bucks on a bike that just doesn't work so and now the credit union is at a loss because the uh, the guy that financed it or refinanced it is not willing to pay for it. So anyways, just wanted to share that one thing because I hear it a lot. A lot of people, don't worry, you'll, you'll work on your credit and then you can refinance it. It just depends on how much you still owe on the, on the loan. So if you're upside down on the loan, you got to be careful. And if you're $8,000 upside down, man, you are really... I mean, this, this is just one of those things. Luckily I got out of my bad deal. I had one of the worst deals. And like I said, I'll show with you guys, uh, just so you guys could protect yourself. And yet again, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this build. Like I said, you could probably find this build without the saddlebags and maybe without that seat, you could probably find that for about 17 or maybe even 18,000 bucks on the used market. I don't know about the crowds and stuff like that, but with your basic, uh, your basic uh, T-bar setup. So anyways, enough rambling. You guys just stay out there, stay safe. Thanks for tuning in. Once you hit a like on that video or on the, on the video, you guys uh, stay out there, stay safe. Don't believe everything you read. Life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later.